Hey everyone, it's Raypine here from Nova Gamer. Today we are doing our second video for the Shred of the Avatar pre-alpha release 4. So our last video, if you haven't seen it, you can go and check that out. It's called uh, Dungeons and Death for a reason, because I, I, I died quite a bit. Um, <laughs> but uh, So this video I thought I would show you guys some of the forging, not the forging, sorry, the uh, gathering of materials. So this here is just our regular town. This one is Al's head, I believe. Yeah. So we'll just head out here. Uh, so once again, like we do with every video, in case people are wondering why he just fell from the sky, just same with this guy, is because they are just logging in. This is, of course, as you see up here, the pre-alpha. So this isn't even in beta testing yet. So right now we are testing what is going to be the game bit by bit. So as you can see, they just came out with a update uh, I believe it was last night um, they increased the speed of attack a bit so I'll show you guys a little bit of that while we're out farming um, as well I also have a bow now which is right here so I'll show you guys how that works because you can actually shoot the crossbow so it's pretty awesome um, the trees and everything I wanted to show you guys this is why I started here you can see that the grass and the trees and everything is coming along way better than if you go way back to our first video in here and then look at this one you can see the quality is increasing dramatically they're doing an amazing job perfecting everything before they put it out um, but let's take a zoom out here so those who haven't seen this last video you can go check out the last video where we go to the dungeon um, but this one we won't be going to the dungeon as you can see we're zooming out and we are going to first let's go to the mountains up here to get ore I think that will get me in there. I hope that doesn't take me back into the town. I think I'm close enough to the mountains. Yeah, there we go. All right. So, I'll kill that spider down there, but I'll, I'll put the bow on so you guys can see that first. Just a sec here. Where's the bow to? There it is. All right. So the bow, actually, I haven't checked the distance. Let's try to go for max distance here. Okay, so that's too far. Oh, he's walking towards me. That's perfect. Ah, uh, he stopped. There we go. So you can see the distance. You can shoot pretty far away. Now, the damage on this, if you look, I found out what SSD did meant. It's it's basically the, your your distance that you could do a shot with. So this one's 200 yards or 200 paces or whatever. Um, the damage, however, is only 8 and the critical is only 5. So you have more range but you have less damage where if you go over to my jeweled one where is it where'd it go no jewel 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 I am looking past it over and over there it is so if you look at this you'll see that this one is 14 damage and 8 critical so if I put that on it will automatically switch the attack so that's awesome so this is kind of bringing back the old UO where you can shoot with your archery and then switch to your weapons. I don't know if they're going to add a quick exchange of weapons, sort of like a preset key that you can hit when they come close and swap your archery straight out for your sword and shield. Um, I hope they do because that would be pretty sweet. So I found out with the axes and everything, so if you go down to the bottom of your screen like this, these will pop up. So these are all my harvesting tools I have. So. You've got the one for hay, you've got your axe, you've got your mining pick, and you got your skinning knife. So I can't skin the spider, but I'll show you with that bear up there. So kill the spider, so you'll see how much faster this sword is to kill stuff. So if you watched the last video, which I really encourage you to do if you haven't seen the dungeons, uh, you'll also see that we're swinging way faster now. They increased it from two seconds per swing to one second per swing. Because they realized that people were having a hard time killing stuff because you weren't getting enough hits out to kill something before it <coughs> killed you. Um, for those who are playing this game, uh, if you come out here with open, <laughs> making all your armor like this and sword and shield, you will die very quickly to these spiders or they'll take you down to almost dead from the first attack. So let's go over here. Okay, so what we'll start with it is mining. So it took me a while to figure it out because I was looking at everything on the ground. Oh, just a second, I'll kill this guy. 
I was looking at when I first came on. I was looking at rocks on the ground, and there back in another area there was a pit in the ground with smoke coming out of it. But it's actually, if you look here, see these dark, grayish, blackish rocks. They are actually the ones you mine. So you'll see a bigger one here. There's a small one there. Uh, there's another one here behind me. So that's what you use for mining ore. I don't know if they're going to set it up so that there's different mining nodes, but for right now, you get everything out of the nodes. So you go up and click on it, and you'll actually start digging, as you see. It's got a nice... Oops. That was a little too quick. I couldn't show you. Uh, so that was a back view. I'll give you a front view here of digging. Ah, oh, he turned. There you go. So it's pretty quick. It's not like most games where you, your guy's sitting there digging like crazy trying to get into something. They realize you don't want to spend all your time digging in one spot. Plus they made it a little more difficult to get the ore. So like, I don't know, with like World of Warcraft for instance, you would dig and you'd get like five of this and two of that. Or this, it's kind of like just one or two of it. You gotta do a bit more mining, but they made the mining quicker to make up for it. Uh, there was a bugged one I'll show you up ahead. It's probably still bugged. I, I'm going to put in the report about it. But for those of you who are still playing out there and want to get ore quickly before they fix it so you can make your stuff faster, I'll show you where that is. And, you know, I'm not going to kill all these spiders. They will only follow you for a short time. If you're outside. If you're in a dungeon, they follow you for a little longer, <laughs> as we found up in the last video. So... This one was bugged. Let's see if they fixed it. Yeah, they fixed it. So, never mind. There is no more bugged ore. There might be more around, but that one was where I got all my ore, which if you look at my bag again, for those who didn't see the last video, you'll see I have quite a bit of ore. So, uh, add me to your friends list. I'm <laughs> right plan. Nova Gamer, right here. Add me to your friends list if you are playing, and I'll, I'll gladly give you guys some ore. Uh, we'll go over those later. <laughs> so if you click F, here's the new party system. So it's right here. You invite a player into your party, and you can leave the party, kick a player, or you can make another player a leader, just like most party ones. I haven't had a chance to really try it yet because I've been too busy trying to get all this stuff done. But I'll probably dedicate tomorrow to going back to the dungeon again, but this time with a party so we can kill more stuff. I'll probably make a video there for you guys I think you see there's quite a bit of ore around I don't know how like this is multiplayer mode so I haven't so far I haven't seen anybody else around when I zoom into an area like this so I'm, I'm not sure if they're gonna make it so that there will be people in the future or when you zoom into an area only you and your party go in there I think they're still deciding on that but this is the tree. The orange ones are the ones you can cut down. I tried... What do I got set for? Three. See, so if I go to this little one click three, it doesn't work. You actually have to go up to it and press three, and it'll work. It has to be the one with the orange leaves. It's kind of their way of telling you, you know, don't cut down every tree in the forest, only this one will work. And I'm slowly falling down the hill. This is not good. I'm actually floating in the air. So anyways, uh, give me a second to fix this, and I'll be right back with with uh, cutting down a tree. All right, everybody, I'm back. I, <laughs> I uh, ended up going halfway across the map and then got stuck by four spiders. Had to kill them, log out, log back in, and here we are. So now we're back to normal. So what we were doing before was we were going after the tree. So let's go after a different one. So that one might be bugged, so I'm not going to chance it. So let's go for this one. So all you do is you look for the one with the orange leaves. Go up, click on it, and voila, you'll start chopping. Tree falls with a nice reenactment there. I'll show you that one more time from a different tree so you can see it from a different angle. Let me uh, look for the next closest one. There's one up here. That one down there in the distance is that one that bugged me out, so stay away from that one. So normally they fall that to the right or the left, so let's see which way it goes. Oh, there it goes. So there you go. You can actually see it fall, 
and crash. They're probably going to add in like some leaves and stuff flying up in the air when it hits the ground, I imagine. The, uh, this is the first time they did the tree falling animation for us in a release, so I imagine they'll perfect it more in the, in the uh, further releases. Now, that is how you get wood and how you get uh, mining, so, sorry, ore, so now that you know, so I'll kill a deer here, show you skinning real quick. Right, come on, deer. Sturg! And dead so you can't really loot the deer but you can go up and click five on it well I have it set to five as you see here and you'll start skinning it oh, I didn't give you a front view there and then I'll show you the loot now before I'll see if it just still does it yeah so it's still doing it so I'm gonna put in a report about that if you skin something and don't take it right away it doesn't let you go back and get it so I'm going to put a report about that too. So these are all things that I'm writing down here so I can let them know about it. Like the flying lumberjacker. Hey, come back here, dear. Come back here. Come back. Hey, hey, little perk. Are you kidding me? There we go. Jesus. <laughs> well, you can't say they didn't make it realistic. I don't kill that one way faster than the other one. So, click five. Oh, now you'll get a good view of the skinning. And god damn it, it happened again. Ah, I don't know. This only started happening recently. Oh, I'm walking back. I'm actually going to skin it. Oh, there we go. <laughs> there you go. That's what the skinning looks like from the front. They just put out a patch literally today, so I'm thinking that's what's causing some of this floating is something that they're trying to change. Um, but there you have it. That is lumberjacking and mining and skinning. So I haven't tried the grass cutter on this grass. I don't know if it'll work. It's not looking like it. But I did see high bushes. Are they are they in here? See if we can find one down here. Looking for the bush. Nope, 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 that's not a bush. Nope, rock, nope, not bush, nope. Aha, here we go. Yep, this is the bush. So there you go. And I'll do this again. That's how you get cotton. I don't know why I'm trying to kill the spider. Can I go over the same cotton plant? No, once you use it once you can't go back there again for a bit. So let's find another cotton plant so we can I can show you when we're not being attacked. Alright, here we go. There you have it, it's easy. Just cutting the bottom of it, cutting off some of the cotton. So they have the anim animations in there. Um, and, oh, there we go. So they have the animations in, and it's pretty straightforward. Like you can run past this tree, just click on it. You can tell by the bark that this is the right kind of tree. And then when you chop it, it will fall. So that floating bug, I'll make a note of that and let them know. Um, obviously, it's not happening all the time, so I'll just have to find out how that happened. But there you have it. That is crafting. Well, sorry, gathering your materials to craft. I'm not really going to do a crafting video this time, um, only because the only real new crafting is like you can make a bow now and you can make a sword, the one that I have, the jewel encrusted one. Um, for those of you who are out there testing this game as well, I'll show you another little funny thing that I found. 
Um, but I will warn you that if you go too far like I did, you will actually fall through the ground. So I'm going to actually let them know about this one again as well. All right, here, just like. So you can actually climb up. Not there. Where is the spot? I think it's right here. There you go. Oh, almost there. So here you have it. I have officially climbed up and can see the edge of the world. There you go. So that is the uncreated <laughs> part of land. I actually, here I'll show you where I got stuck so you guys can be careful. But I haven't actually tr gotten this far. Can I actually run on this flat ground? Oh, yes, I can. <laughs> so what I did was I actually fell down there. And where is it? Right down there. That little pit. You get stuck down. Oh, no, it's right there. Right there. So you can see these little points sticking out of the ground here. Let me try to get a better view. There's little jagged bottoms here and then like a hole. You go in there and, and you're, you're, <laughs> you're not getting out. I had to completely delete my character and everything. But... There you have it. So I don't think this is going to make me zoom out. Let's see if I run far enough out while I zoom back out to the minimap. Oh, I see an end. I swear I'm getting closer to it. Yes, I am. And there you have it. This is the edge of the world. I'm not going to go there because as a person who knows a lot about programming, they don't have this as a fade out zone. So I would most likely just fall and keep falling and falling and then have to create a new character again, which I do not want to do. But here you go. Here's a little trick. So if you guys want to go out and, I don't know, have a party, you can do it out here. But anyways, there, and you get a nice view of the whole area. So that is pretty much gathering materials so i hope you guys enjoyed the video uh we will be making another one shortly i'm probably gonna do the next one maybe i'll do a bit more combat and i'm gonna throw in swimming in there because i didn't show you guys that yet so it's i mean it's very easy to show you that uh, we got a couple new emotes that i'll show you i'll probably wrap it all up in one video because there's not too much more to show you we've gone over the combat and the dungeons and the harvesting so i'll probably show you around we'll go travel around so I'll show you some of the new uh maps that have been made and everything but there you go so that is the changes that they've made so far that are major and we'll do a lot of the uh sort of more like a fun wrap-up video for the next one so hope you guys enjoyed this one and stay tuned for the next one and as always happy gaming